Matt, thanks. At one of the largest city colleges in the country, City College of San Francisco, with 90,000 students on nine campuses, a furor is brewing over grades. Only this time, it's the grades students are giving their teachers. Now one of those teachers is fighting back with a lawsuit. NBC's George Lewis explains. It's shaken up this big community college and raised all sorts of questions about libel and the limits of free speech. A website called TeacherReview.com, enabling students here to give their professors letter grades from A to F. And according to comments on the site, some of those professors are failures. English professor Daniel Curzon Brown is angry, claiming he's been libeled and because he's gay, subjected to vicious homophobic attacks. Faggots are a major threat to humanity and nature. They disgust everybody, especially if they're teachers. Now, Curzon Brown has filed a lawsuit in hopes of shutting down TeacherReview.com. He's also suing the college and the associated students for helping promote the website. Critics of the website complain that anyone anywhere can log on to it anonymously and post all sorts of outrageous comments about the college faculty without bearing any responsibility for those comments. A lawyer for the Associated Students says neither they, nor the school, nor the website can be held responsible for the nasty comments about the professors. You can't hold one person responsible for speech on the Internet that was somebody else's speech. And in this case, the professors are trying to hold the webmaster responsible for the reviews posted by the students. And the law doesn't allow that. But Professor Curzon Brown feels the website is a hate forum which goes well beyond the bounds of free speech. And that, he says, is why he's suing. For today, George Lewis, NBC News. Daniel Curzon Brown is the English instructor at the center of the controversy, including or involving TeacherReview.com. Ryan Lathowers is the site's founder and webmaster. Good morning to both of you. Hi, Matt. Mr. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Curzon Brown, let me start with you. What's your main complaint about this website? My main complaint about the website is that people who are not actually students are sending in reviews of teachers. The website has been set up in such a way that anyone in the world can send in an anonymous review. And there are people who are hackers, cyber terrorists, uh, friends of whoever, who send in reviews of me and other people. They've never met me. They've never been in my class. This becomes part of my grade point average. This is used as a method by which to evaluate me and other teachers. It's insane. It's absolutely Kafkaesque. But, but how can you prevent these students from having the right to say what they want, even if they haven't taken your class? I mean, what's to stop a student from standing just across from the college with a sign around his neck that says these very same things? Let us students that stand across the, from the college and say these very things. My point is they are not necessarily students, or it's the same students sending in 14 reviews. No one verifies that these are actual students. That's my complaint. People who want to get back at people stalk teachers this way. It becomes a way to intimidate teachers. We cannot grade students if teachers can retaliate, uh, if students can retaliate against us. Ru it, Ryan, let me... It's also a way of extorting grades from teachers. You better give me a, an A or I'll write you up on teacher review. Ryan, you stand by your website. W what service do you think it provides? Well, when I was a student at City College back in September of 1997, I felt there was a need for students to get more information about their instructors in their class before they took the class. And I felt the Internet was a great way to take the word of mouth system and bring it online. However, if there are people logging onto this website and putting down comments about teachers like Mr. Curzon Brown, who've never even taken his class, and by the way, who also make comments about sexual preference, what possible good does that do? Well, on the whole, the website is overwhelmingly positive. Over half the reviews give the teachers a, a, an A rating. Over 66% of the reviews give the teachers an above average rating. I also have guidelines that forbid uh, sexism, racism, homophobia, um, if you didn't take the class. And I'm if people f feel that a review is, violates these guidelines, they're welcome to contact me and I can remove the reviews. So you think you're doing enough to, to weed out the, the comments that aren't appropriate? Yes, I do. Mr. Curzon Brown, do you agree with that? Absolutely not. He's just guessing. Ryan has put himself in the position of judging 1,700 teachers and other teachers because he's a failed student from the past. He thinks that he has us <laughs> by, the, by the balls. and it, he decides what stays on there and what comes off. 
It has nothing to do with whether it's true or not. He is guessing. And because some of us have dared to use our free speech and speak up and say that something is wrong about this, then we become targeted. And then our reviews are left on there. As long as he wants them to be on there, other reviews are removed. He is responsible for what's on there because he is an editor of it. However, I understand that the college doesn't even look at this website when rating teachers. So except for hurting your feelings, Mr. Curzon Brown, what real damage does it do to your career? Because students look at it and use it to pick classes. <laughs> There's also a grade point average which we get. So you don't even have to bother to read the reviews, the phony reviews. And then you think, oh, this teacher has this grade point average based on reviews from people who say on the site, I've never had this teacher. Then you pick a class. If you don't get 20 students in a class, a class can be canceled. You can have a tremendous influence on who gets to teach classes and who doesn't. Ryan, are you Te willing, there's, a, there's obviously a lawsuit involved here. Ryan, are you willing to make some changes and admit that there are some flaws in this website? Well, the site's not perfect, but I think I take enough foresight and students are welcome to tell me that if there's reviews that violate the guidelines, I can remove them. And Mr. Keep Curzon Brown, what would you like to see happen to the site? Keep it to, keep it to students. This, this, anyone out there listening to this, go on Teach a Review and send in a review right now. You can send a review of anyone you've never met. It will be immediately posted. It will become part of my grade point average. And then Ryan, in his infinite wisdom, will decide, like the Solomon he is, what's real and what's false. He will leave on nasty things about me because he likes to get nasty things about me because I have dared to show the fatal flaw in this website. Daniel Curzon Brown, Ryan Lathowers, thank you both very much. Thank you. You're welcome. It's 721. This is Today on NBC.